Hi, it's me again with Kirill Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody want, sent me this file and they want to get rid of the black part of the triangle that's really inside the word, if I understand them right. And I actually did one and, and sent it to him and I was correct. So you can see that's all one group and this is one group. But this thing is less than two inches. We're going to set our nudge factor on three inches. And then we can nudge this text out of the way. And there's also a couple of problems with this drawing. These lines don't meet. And if we look at it another way, if we go and select it all and left click no fill and right click in hairline, you can see that there's some other lines that aren't complete. And those are easily fixed. You just take the shape tool and grab that node and snap it to that node. Uh, let's zoom in here a little bit more. Take the shape tool and grab that node. You can see the arrow and it'll snap to that node. Now we can zoom in a little bit more and take the virtual segment delete key and delete that and delete that and we've fixed that. Now, these other parts, all we have to do, and I would delete those two nodes because we don't need them, just like we don't need that node. Take that, and if you start moving it, hold down the control button so it will stay parallel with its own self. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Get the, then take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Because what we want, we want that to all be together. So we'll do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to grab that node, start moving, and then hold down the control button. And what that does, it doesn't allow me to be off very much. And then just take the virtual segment delete and delete these lines. Now, as always, these are still made up of broken lines. So I'm going to take the smart fill tool, set on black. Whoop, I see a couple of lines I need to still do. You got to think about like water flowing somewhere, I call it. So we can go anywhere and we got that. And then I'm going to actually nudge it down twice and then do the inside square and nudge it down twice. Now we don't need this anymore. And what that did, I'm going to nudge them back. That gave us some solid ways to look at it or there's no broken lines. I'm going to left click again. I'm going to right click in black. And then I'm going to nudge our word up, but I'm going to left click and right click in red so I can tell the difference between the text and the, and the drawing. So I'm going to do just start deleting lines. Um, and I, when I originally did this last night, I didn't know, you know, how far he wanted to take it. Like, you know, do you want it that line gone? but I, I must have hit it on the nail because he liked it and asked me how I did it. Whoop, yeah, that'll work. What is happening, the virtual segment delete key is being stopped by the next line. We're almost there, a few more lines. And there's other ways to do this, but this is gonna be the fastest, probably and the easiest. Then. Let's just take our smart fill tool and fill that in. Go ahead and fill in that. Most of the time I'm going to have to zoom in, fill in that and that. And I see one line and it doesn't really matter. We don't have to delete these lines because the smart fill stopped it because we're going to move our, but it's just be safer in case you left a hairline there if you ever decided to cut it out. So now we're going to take this word and turn it well, what I'd really want to do is nudge it down a couple of times, turn it red, right click, no line. And this is pretty much ready to go, but I'm going to, I'm going to grab it all and I'm going to right click, no line, and then just nudge this back. So now we have no black behind the lettering. And I, I'm guessing that's what he wants to do. And that's how you do it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.